What is kernel PCA? Have you ever wondered how we can analyze complex data that doesn't fit neatly into a straight line? Today, we are going to talk about kernel principle component analysis, a powerful tool for handling such data. Kernel principle component analysis, often referred to as kernel PCA, is an advanced method that extends traditional principle component analysis. While standard principle component analysis focuses on linear relationships, kernel PCA is designed to tackle nonlinear data structures. This means it can help us find patterns in data that are not easily visible when using simpler methods. So, how does kernel PCA work? It starts by transforming the original data into a higher dimensional space using something called kernel functions. This transformation allows us to make nonlinear data become linearly separable. In simpler terms, it helps us rearrange the data so that we can analyze it more effectively. Instead of calculating the covariance matrix directly, kernel PC uses a kernel matrix that measures similarities between data points. This clever approach is known as the kernel trick, allowing us to perform linear analysis in a transformed space without needing to compute high-dimensional mappings explicitly. From a measurement and data perspective, kernel PCA is particularly useful when dealing with variables that show nonlinear correlations. Traditional principal component analysis might miss these relationships, but kernel PCA preserves them during dimensionality reduction. This is essential for maintaining important information that can be crucial for tasks like clustering or classification. In practical applications, kernel PCA shines in areas like image recognition and spectroscopy. For example, in spectral data analysis, it can help separate overlapping chemical signatures by projecting them into a space where variations become distinguishable. This ensures that the reduced dimensions still capture meaningful variance, even when the original features interact in complex ways. One of the key advantages of kernel P, C, A over linear methods is its ability to adapt to nonlinear data structures. The choice of kernel function, such as polynomial or Gaussian, allows us to tailor the analysis to the specific characteristics of the data. This flexibility is vital for accurately modeling complex datasets. However, there are some considerations to keep in mind. Choosing the right kernel and tuning hyperparameters can significantly influence the quality of the results. Additionally, the computational complexity can increase with larger datasets due to the calculations involved in the kernel matrix. In the context of principal component analysis in statistics, Kernel P CA offers a robust alternative when linear assumptions do not hold. It enables statisticians to extract features that reflected nonlinear dependencies, ensuring that the components derived from the analysis remains interpretable and actionable for further tasks. For instance, in facial recognition technology, Kernel P CA can effectively separate variations in lighting and facial expressions. By mapping pixel intensities into a space where identity-related features become distinguishable, it improves recognition accuracy compared to traditional methods. In summary, kernel principle component analysis is a vital tool for modern datasets where variables interact in nonlinear ways. By focusing on preserving variants in transformed spaces, it aligns with the goals of measurement and data analysis minimizing information loss while simplifying complex data structures.